Hello everybody, you are going to need to give me a second. As you can see, in just a bit, I have been having some troubles of my own. I'm walking with these because I fractured my ankle last weekend. So yeah, it has been a rough few days for me. Um, I guess that's what happens when you try to go jogging when the snow is melting, but you live and you learn. Hey, I went 33 years without fracturing or breaking anything, so I think that's pretty good. But you don't want to hear about that. You don't need to hear any of my sob stories. I am here to do another unboxing for you. Excuse me. This is going to be our Slam Crate, our WWE Slam Crate uh, for, I believe it was December, technically. Um, the thing with Slam Crate, if you don't remember, uh, compared to Loot Crate, is that it is a bi-monthly box. Only every other month you get a new box. It's a little pricier than the other ones, but it's a lot of fun wrestling stuff in here. And I gotta say, this is one of the biggest and heaviest boxes besides the Loot Crate Deluxe DX that I have ever gotten. It might be the biggest one I've ever gotten. So I am very interested to see what is in here. I don't really remember what the theme is. We'll see when we get in here. Honestly, the themes are a little uh, hit and miss, so to speak. Um, it's just more about the goods that are inside. But we are going to slice open our loot crate, slam crate, sorry, and see. Um, and as I said before, you know, loot crate monthly subscription box, you know the whole deal, all the good stuff. Use my promo code in the description if you'd like to subscribe. Doesn't cost you a penny, helps me out. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, bam, what do we have here? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see what the box uh, kind of gives you a clue of what's in here. Uh, the symbols on the box I see Sasha Banks, Team Angle, interesting, not just Kurt, Team Angle, Roman Reigns, not a fan. I know, like a lot of older fans, not, not big on Roman Reigns. And it looks like Daniel Bryan, interesting group. Um, so first up is our t-shirt. Always get a shirt every single month. And it says, protect the yard, unleash the big dog. Interesting. See, okay, now, I've said before, like, I'm not a Roman Reigns fan. And I'm not necessarily a fan of black t-shirts. Um, I think they make too many of them. I think graphic tees, you know, you get a bad rap if you're kind of a geeky, nerdy guy and you got a lot of black graphic t-shirts. But this one is actually pretty cool, all things considered. The gold looks very, very nice on the shirt. Um, and honestly, if it was like, if it was a Seth Rollins, a Dean Ambrose, AJ Styles, anything like that, I think it would be like an absolutely fantastic shirt. It's still good in its own right. Again, like, even if I'm not a fan of the guy, I can appreciate the, the shirt. It's a very nice design, very cool design. I'm surprised it's a design that they saved for Slam Creek, because I think this one would actually sell very well on the website. But, you know, that's, that's the other thing is that, you know, you're never not going to always get a bunch of wrestlers that you're a fan of in here, you know. You're going to get some stuff you like, but, you know, not everybody likes every wrestler. So, you know, you live and you learn. And guys like Roman Reigns and John Cena are very popular with the masses. So I'm not surprised when stuff for them shows up in the crate, you know. It happens. Um, next up is our first figure in a new line of the collectible figures. Uh, we sh we had the first uh, set, which was Attitude Era, so it was Undertaker, Rock, Austin, Triple H. And now we're doing a female series. I'm going to open this up. And our first figure is Sasha Banks, the boss. And it says on the back, WWE Slam Star Series 2 is here to leave an impression with the statement makers. Designed by Brian Beatty of the Creation Crib, the second series features current WWE superstars who made an immediate impact when they debuted and got the crowd going every time they enter an arena. Okay, so it's not women, it's just newer stars, which is a little disappointing because I kind of would have liked an all-women series. But it's a very cool uh, Sasha Banks figure. I'm digging it. Uh, we don't necessarily need to open it up and put it all together. We've done that a few times, but it's still a very cool series and it's a nice way to get people buying every single crate, you know, if they want to collect the whole series. And so you get her and you get a, qu a uh, quarter of a ring. So if you get them all, you know, you can make a full ring, put all four of them in there. Very cool. Very nice. Um, here's our heavy object, it looks like. It is a Kurt Angle mug. It says, oh, it's a mug. It's a damn mug. Slam crate. Kurt Angle mug. Let's check this out. 
Ooh, I don't like styrofoam. I've, you've probably seen me say this before. I do not like styrofoam. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, but it's a nice mug. It says, you suck. <sighs> kind of dusty, but nice blue mug, uh, white and gold, you suck. Very simple to the point. And the cool, oh wait, it does say on the, on the bottom, it says, oh, it's true, it's damn true. But honestly, I think you could probably give this mug to anybody for anything as like a gag gift, because it doesn't really specifically say Kurt Angle on it or WWE. It's just a very nice mug, I like it, I dig it. No, oh, here we go for the start of the year. We have a WWE planner. Looks nice. Let's take a let's open this up a little bit. Mm. Okay. Oh, all right. So it's a planner, but you put your name in it. You know, got your Sasha Banks there. It's got all the holidays and then like all the months, but it has pictures along with it. It's got your Daniel Bryan on January. Um, yeah, lots of different wrestlers here. I see the Hardys, Carmella Undertaker, Seth Rollins, Cena, Orton. Lots and lots of uh, wrestlers here. And then there's a notes section, of course. You can write your own list of Jericho, I guess. And lots of notes. Um... Oh, and then very cool at the end, it's a, a title tracker. So I guess like if title changes happen throughout the course of the year, you can write them in here and it's got it for all the main WWE titles. And it even has it for the secondary titles, the UK title, the NXT titles. Very nice. And there's an AJ Styles. I think that is really cool. Um, what they have been doing is they, they were doing a lot of these little mini magazines that were giving wrestler profiles and they were kind of lame and I think they realized they were lame and instead if you're going to give something that's kind of like paper like that that's a WWE related item I think something like this is much nicer it's more useful the pictures are gorgeous like there's a lot of use in something like this and you know it's a very simple item but it's a very cool item in its own right uh finally we have our pin um, the pins for the Slam Cray, which is really cool, is they're bigger pins, and they're all based on title belts. Uh, this month's theme was Like a Boss, okay, that makes sense. That's our Sasha Banks. But, um, so this month's pin is the W, not, sorry, the NXT Championship, and it's the newer design that debuted about a year ago. A little, little less than a year ago. Very, very cool, I'm digging it. It's another, another new pin, um... All these title belt pins together would look nice in a collection. I th definitely think it's an underrated, awesome item that is in these crates. And then finally we have our little magazine, and it shows us that next month's figure is going to be the Demon King Finn Balor. Makes sense. Another guy who debuted within the last couple of years, made a big impact. And then there's a, in here just talks about the different items that are in your box. And then you fold it out. And you get an interview with somebody, and this month's interview is with the glorious Bobby Roode. And then you fold it out one more time, and you get a poster, and this time it's Daniel Bryan. Right there. Boom. Very nice. You know, I'm going to say this is a very successful, solid crate. Again, Slam Crate is a little more expensive. It's in the uh, $40 range, as opposed to the $20 or the $30 that you would get with other crates. Um... I definitely think it's worth it. T-shirts alone are 20 bucks, 20, 25 bucks on WWEshop.com. You know, a good mug is a five to $10 item. A good planner is a five to $10 item. And these exclusive figures are, you know, again, I would say are probably 10, $15. Not to mention the pin. So yes, while I'm not a big fan of Roman Reigns, like there's still some great stuff in this crate and it's all like exclusive items. You're not gonna buy these on WWE Shop Zone. You're not going to find them in the store or anything like that. You have to get the crate to get this stuff. So that's always a very, very cool thing. Nice incentive. Um, but that is going to be it for me, guys. I actually have a Rayler Loot Crate on standby that I just got today that I'm going to unbox and give you another video. Um, but beyond that, I don't know what I have planned next. I actually do have two other videos in mind that aren't unboxing videos 
that I do want to get to soon. Obviously, with my leg as it is, I've been a little behind on a lot of stuff, but I will get to them very soon. And I appreciate you guys watching. You know, the few of you that do, it's still every single one of you means a lot to me. I appreciate it. So until the next unboxing, I am Jeremy, a.k.a. Captain Subpar, and I'm telling you forever and always, ah, ah, I'm, I'm changing it up, changing up the order a little bit, to please like this video, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all those good things, share with your friends and your family and your grandma and your grandpa and all those people, share it with them. But until next time, I am going to be King of the Geeks. And now I can't give you a really awesome ending or anything like that because I have to hobble like an invalid to, ugh, to the phone because that's how I do. Eh, 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 I made it.